Tom, two teams that uh, I don't think we're, we're underselling. It's Florida State and LSU. We're going to live stream this game on Sunday with some delicious foods that the wives got together and, and are cooking <laughs> up. I just can't wait. Every time I think about that, I get emotional. Well, you don't look uh, like you've been eating anything. Well, I've been mean, I've eating a little bit. I've been eating a little Probably bit. Trying to eat hamburgers the other healthier, day. Man. Eating healthier. It's eight dollars a month. You can feed Jake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll send okay. you my demo. How about we'll, you give me a standing ovation? Uh, I can't. Uh, uh, anyways, awesome. anyways, anyways, Tom. Before I was rudely interrupted yeah. by this uh, <laughs> by Jimmy from South Park over here. Um, let me. When I look at this matchup, and we've talked about Mason Smith being out, we beat that that horse to death. That NCAA, nobody likes him, everybody hates him. Uh, I'm gonna eat some worms. But when I look at when I look at this matchup, two offenses that we know that that should be explosive. Uh, you look at what Florida State added in the portal with Jaheim Bell, Keon Coleman, what they return up front. Uh, I, I really like the uh, the Benson kid as well at running back. Um, LSU, I'm really high on them. I love what they have at wide receiver. I think they're somewhat underrated with the Anderson kid out there, too, to go with Malik Neighbors and what they have at tight end. When you look at this game, typically when you have two teams that are pretty even, it comes down to special teams and turnovers. That's what it typically comes down to. Last year, LSU missed an extra point, ended up losing the game by one. When I look at this game, I think we're going to have a decent amount of points, but I think Harold Perkins' ability to spy Jordan Travis somewhat limit him in the running game, which Jordan Travis is a better runner than Jaden. Jaden's a better thrower than Jordan, in my opinion. I think LSU finds a way. It's a stalemate in a lot of places, man. It's a stalemate in a lot of places, but give me LSU the edge on special teams, especially now that Polian's not coaching them anymore. <laughs> so a couple of things I think that, are, that really stand out to me about this matchup is last year in this game, like LSU didn't know who they were. Agreed. They didn't know what they were going to become. First year coach, first year staff, players and, and coaches getting to figure out, you know, what who they are, what they are. They didn't know who Mason Taylor was going to be. They didn't know that those two true freshman tackles were going to become what they were. And I don't believe that they really truly utilized or realized how to use Jaden Daniels. And over the course of the season, what they found out was we just need to turn him loose and let him go. Don't mm-hmm. structure him. Don't don't try and fit him into this uh, particular realm of having to play a certain way. Just turn him loose. And as a result, they looked, as you mentioned, they looked sloppy. They were poor on, uh, in the kicking game. Um, and so I think the difference is we come into this game, and now it's the exact opposite. I think LSU knows exactly what they are, exactly how to utilize Jaden Daniels and what that offense is. The tackles are now a year older and have played a lot of football. Uh, I referenced the tight ends. I think he's a really good player. Malik Neighbors, you referenced, no doubt. Um, so I, I think we're seeing a different LSU team in terms of knowing exactly what they are, who they are, year two of this coaching staff and this team. Guys, college football season is back. The NFL is almost here. We have Major League Baseball playoffs right around the corner. And life's more fun when you're in on the action. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. And use our code CRANE, C-R-A-I-N, C-RAIN, you get it? New customers can score $200 in bonus bets instantly when they bet just $5 on college football. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook and only with our code CRANE, C-R-A-I-N. DraftKings, the crown is yours. And if you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net in New York. Call 877-8-HOPE-NEW-YORK or text HOPE-NEW-YORK 467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit cpg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Camp Resort in Kansas. 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction void in Ontario. cdnkg.com slash football for eligibility terms and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bits expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply. Boom! Woo! And breathe. Wow. That's exactly right. Give me a cowboy hat. Let's turn this thing into an auction. The thing that I'm looking for on the Florida State side is, do they come out and play the way people have talked about them? Or do they get caught up in an offseason of hype and pats on the back and everybody telling them how good they are and they don't play very well? Like that, I, I think that's one of the challenges for Mike Norvell is everybody's saying all this great stuff about us. Now we actually have to go out and do it. 
Mm-hmm. Right. We have, we have to go out and we have to play to the level that people are expecting. And if you really look at this roster in its entirety, they haven't had off seasons like this, right? These kids haven't dealt with having um, people, you know, praising them and heaping adulation on them and patting them on the backs. So like, what do they do? How do they handle that? How do they handle uh, success? So I, I think it's going to be a great game. I think LSU is a slightly better football team top to bottom. And I know that Mason Smith's not playing, um, which is a load of crap. But um, I still think LSU is potentially the better, t- better team on the field. I like them to win the game. Yeah, I'm leaning LSU. We talked about Jane Daniels taking yeah. advantage of the downfield. I think he was, when he came over from Arizona State, Everybody's talking about his turnovers, his turnovers. I think he was a little bit nervous as well to push the ball down the field. But like we've talked about, David, uh, it changed them halfway through the year when they started utilizing that deep third. It, it did. opened everything else. What an awesome opening week game we get. For, for the, sure. You know, kudos I to know. them for scheduling non-conference like that. I love that. Hey, YouTube, you're not going to find better sports content than what you'll find here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're almost to 100,000 sub- subscribers, which is amazing. We'd appreciate it. If you subbed, then get a friend to sub.